Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x plus 24 whole squared divided by x plus 46 whole cubed plus 110 divided by x plus 46 whole squared is equal to 1. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. Since the average of this 24 and 46, 24 plus 46 divided by 2 is equal to 35. So we rewrite this expression as uh, x plus uh, 35 minus 11 whole squared divided by we rewrite this expression as uh, x plus uh, 35 plus uh, 11 whole cubed plus uh, 110 divided by we rewrite this expression as uh, x plus uh, 35 plus uh, 11 whole squared is equal to 1. Now we suppose that let x plus uh, 35 is equal to t. So this equation will become t minus 11 whole squared divided by t plus 11 whole cubed plus 110 divided by t plus 11 whole squared is equal to 1. Now we multiply and divide this expression by t plus 11. So this will become t minus 11 whole squared divided by t plus 11 whole cubed plus 110 times t plus 11 divided by this will become t plus 11 whole cubed is equal to 1. Now we write the common denominator this uh, t plus uh, 11 whole cubed. So this uh, t minus 11 whole squared will come here t minus 11 whole squared plus uh, this 110 times uh, t plus uh, 11 is equal to 1. Now we expand this t minus 11 whole squared this will become t squared minus 22 times t plus 121 plus 110 times t 110 t and 110 times 11 will become plus 1210. We multiply 1 and this expression this will become t plus 11 whole cube. Next, t squared. Negative 22t and plus 110t will become plus 88 times t plus this 121 and plus 1210 is equal to t plus 11 whole cubed. Next, t squared. This uh, 121 is same as plus uh, 11 squared. So, we rewrite this 88t as uh, plus uh, 22 times t plus uh, 66 times t and we rewrite this uh, 1210 as uh, plus uh, 726 plus uh, 484 is equal to t plus 11 whole cubed. Now this uh, t squared plus uh, 11 squared plus uh, 22 times t will become t plus uh, 11 whole squared and uh, from these two terms uh, we can factor out 66 plus uh, 66 as common factor in bracket left t plus uh, 11 
plus 484 is equal to t plus 11 whole cubed. We suppose that t plus 11 is equal to y. So, this equation will become y squared plus 66 times y plus 484 is equal to y cubed. Move these three terms to the right hand side. This will become y cubed minus y squared minus 66 times y minus 484 is equal to 0. Now, if we check y is equal to 11 in this equation, then this will become 11 cubed minus 11 squared minus 66 times 11 minus 484 is equal to 0. This 11 cubed is 1331 minus 11 squared is 121 minus 66 times 11 726 minus 484 is equal to 0 and 1331 if we add these three, this will become negative 1331. This is equal to 0. It means that y is equal to 11 is a solution of this cubic equation. Means that y minus 11 is a factor of this cubic equation. So, to find the other quadratic factor, we use synthetic division. If we write the coefficients of this equation 1, negative 1, negative 66 and negative 484. Since 11 is a solution, so we divide by 11. This 1 comes down as it is 1. 1 multiplied by this 11 is 11. Negative 1 plus 11 is 10. 10 multiplied by this 11 110 negative 66 plus 110 will become positive 44 and 44 times 11 positive 484 so the remainder is 0 it means that the second factor is 1y squared plus 10 times y plus 44 So, the one factor is this uh, y minus 11, y minus 11 and uh, the second factor is this y squared plus uh, 10 times y plus uh, 44 is equal to 0. From here either this expression y minus 11 is equal to 0 or this expression y squared plus uh, 10 times y plus uh, 44 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of y is equal to 11. And from this uh, quadratic equation we write y squared plus uh, this 10th y is same as 2 times uh, y times 5. To complete the square we add uh, 5 squared means 25. So, we subtract 25 plus this 44 is equal to 0. Now this is y squared plus 2y times 5 plus 5 squared will become y plus 5 whole squared. Negative 25 plus 44 will become plus 19 is equal to 0. Move this 19 to the right hand side, this will become 5 plus 5 whole squared is equal to negative 19. And we take uh, square root of both sides. So, this uh, square will be considered with the square root and we are left with y plus uh, 5 is equal to 
this plus minus root negative 1 will become plus minus i times root 19 and we move this 5 to the right hand side this will become y is equal to negative 5 plus minus i times root 19 and first we found this value of y y is equal to 11 now we recall that we have supposed we have supposed that uh, t plus 11 is equal to y we have supposed that uh, t plus uh, 11 is equal to y so when y is equal to 11 then this will become t plus uh, 11 is equal to 11 and from here we get uh, t is equal to 0 and when y is equal to this expression then this will become t plus 11 is equal to negative 5 plus minus i times root 19 and subtract 11 from both sides this will become t is equal to negative 16 plus minus i times root 19 now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that uh, x plus 35 is equal to t we have supposed that uh, x plus uh, 35 is equal to t so when t is equal to 0 then this will become t plus uh, 35 is equal to 0 from here we get the value of t is equal to negative 35 when t is equal to this expression then this will become x plus 35 is equal to negative 16 plus minus i times root 19 and we subtract 35 from both sides this will become x is equal to negative 51 plus minus i times root 19 this is the first value of x and this is the second and third value of x so we have uh, three solutions of this equation negative 35 and uh, negative 51 plus minus i times root 19